martial fucking law for a billion people. Hey, welcome back, fellas. Welcome Just back. Off about the assassination of Jin Jay. Who was he, sir? He was on deck for the presidency. Progressive. He pushed the government for transparency, fairness, freedom of speech. Admiral Chang convinced more than a few of them that we killed Mr. J. Now, if your operation blows up, Chang will have all the excuse he needs to give all that anger, all that hate. So we're getting a, a, a better picture. They're painting a better picture of what's uh, what's causing the conflict here right now between the U.S. and China. Out of the GU tower, safe and sound. Extraction will be coordinated by one spook agent, Laszlo W. Kovic. Unless absolutely necessary, do not fire your weapons. No goddamn boss. I don't know about that. My name is Rekka, sir. Sergeant Dunfell, you and my other name is Hertz. <laughs> it's what we do here. His loss is tragic to say the least. Yeah, so I guess we lost Dunn last episode. Don't make me regret honoring his last decision. Do the right thing. And as uh, you know, Dunn's Dunn's wishes was uh, were that I would be left in charge of the team here, left in charge of the crew, lead the crew to greatness, right? So we lost Dunn in that wreck, uh, that we uh, that watery wreck in the in the ocean. He was already missing a leg. I mean, he was half. He had. He had, Well, I guess you could say he had one foot in the grave already before we even spilled it into the water there. So right now, this mission, we're in Shanghai. If you missed it, you know, I tried not to say too much. I should welcome you guys in here. I didn't want to say too much while the intro was being run down. But uh, so I hope you enjoyed last episode. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. I hope you're going to enjoy what is to come. And and welcome back, guys. Welcome back. So we're in Shanghai, and we're going to grab a couple of VIPs. We have to meet up with a, a spook named Kovic. And he's got a couple of, uh, you know, high values with him that we need to try and extract out of the area. Or evac right out of the city, you know, right out of the country, basically. Are they eyeballing you Irish? Don't put up with that shit. I hear it, son. <laughs> anyway, there we got a, that little toy dinosaur we see swinging there where the, uh, the rear view mirror should be. That's like a relic from, uh, from Battlefield 3, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. A little toy, toy dinosaur there. What floor are we going to? And uh, how many VIPs did Garrison say? Three with Kovic? Two, Pac-Man. Two. Get your head out your ass. Clean the shit out your ears. All right, so, uh, you know, riots. Riots throughout the city here. Yeah, and what the hell was that, Irish? Did you... Continue on foot. Copy. No, yeah, no, no kidding. We need to leave the van after that. That damn display. Did you go to the uh, the Wei Shen School of Driving, sir? Let me get a good look at this. What did you do? How do you even do that? How do you even do that? How do you get that that close to the back wall when we were moving forward in one smooth motion? And look at him. Look at him looking back. I hope nobody saw that. That's what he's thinking. You are embarrassed. You should be ashamed. Look at him. He won't even look me in the eye. I'm reprimanding you, sir. I'm reprimanding you. I am in charge around these parts. That's right. That's right. How's the lot coming there, Pac-Man? I guess Pac-Man, our local blacksmith here, yeah? our resident blacksmith, Gentlemen. not blacksmith, locksmith, locksmith, and uh, apparently Irish, our, our wheel man, and a piss poor one he is at that. Yeah, yeah, look at, uh, Irish is quite, quite eager to redeem himself after that, you know. All right, up we go. Let's, uh, let's not waste any more time. Enough dicking around. <laughs> With the uh, the imaginary story that I, I the little imaginary spin that I put on this thing, and uh, this is where we're heading right here. And mem remember this this building. I'm pretty sure this plays a part in uh, in one of the multiplayer maps as well. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here. You know, multiplayer will come in time. The, the campaign isn't that long, and I should have it wrapped up within the week. You know. So we're gonna have to cross this courtyard. I see a little bit of opposition down there. You can see the birds circling. I don't know how likely it is that we're going to get, uh, that we can actually get detected as we try and make the cross here. I think it's probably a pretty safe run. We just gotta move. You guys coming? Irish, what are you doing? Use your feet on ladders. Uh, he's muscling it down there, just with his biceps. All upper body strength. He was trying to, was trying to prove something apparently. I don't know, I don't know what he was doing there. Irish is uh, quite the character. I do like that guy, though. <laughs> you know, 
you can tell he's he's a good character here in the game. All right, I'm not seeing anything. Looks like we have a good clean run here. I really do just prefer leading the charge, you know, not getting all tangled up with them. As uh, I, I made clear last episode, I don't really like running in the thick of the squad because they're so goddamn pushy. Pushy, pushy. <laughs> yes, pushy, pushy. Anyway, a little bit of opposition there. A couple guards at the door. Looks like the lobby's clear for the most part as, as these two are just recklessly running up here. Already on it, Irish. Don't be telling me how to do my job, son, after that display out there on the road. Ready oh, yeah. Give it here. Give it here, Pac-Man. What's your complaining, sir? Pipe down. Need some better elevator music. You guys haven't called Dunn's wife yet. That should have been taken top priority before we even headed out for Shanghai. What the hell, Pac-Man? What the hell was that? Jesus. Between the two of you, I don't know how we're gonna we're gonna accomplish this this mission successfully with your driving and your work with the doors and the elevators. Damn. Any alternatives? So much for coming in here under the radar, eh, Pac-Man? Hey. That's on you, sir. It's on you. Oh, nice little ammo stash here. Let's let's grab something. All right, I'm gonna proceed up a little bit cautiously here. This place looking a little ransacked at this point. Got to figure there was some kind of some kind of struggle. And here we go. Done. Oh, right in the neck. Right in the neck. Done. Wonder if there's anything else going on out here. They're wanting to take a storage room or something. Apparently, could be that right there. Oh, I can see them storming up there on the balcony. Starting to pile up up there. Some suppression fire, gents. What the hell? What are you doing? There's no pushing up on me, sir. No pushing up on me. I see them up there. Let's see if I can get a grenade up there, flush them out. Yeah, I'm getting a few a few shots in at me just as my back is turned. Not this time. Not twice. Not twice, sucker. Gotta go back to full auto here. Just in case I get rushed again. There we go. Oh, come on, that was a clean headshot. First one was a clean headshot. Whoa! Alright, guys, some suppression fire, please. As I make my charge here. Going straight to the side, huh? Like a boss. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. And I'm going to charge this guy right here. And get him with the blade. An unsuspecting kill. Oh, I'm loving it. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm actually going to... Grab a little secondary firepower here. You can see this one here. We got a dual scope on this sucker. I like that. I like that. So let's, uh, let's resupply here. And uh, grab some explosives as well. And when you see claymores come out like this... It usually means it's going to be a little bit of a defense. Give me a second. So we got Pac-Man working the door. I'm going to go put down an explosive perimeter here. Because you got to figure we're going to have to hold our position. Get a nice little gauntlet here of heavy explosives. Not good. Oh, hurry up. I need to get out of there. All right. Watch the windows and get ready. That bird was all over me there. What if I could just post up behind the bar? I don't know if it's a, it's a wise choice. 
And what are you talking about up there, Irish? Did you not see me dropping down the, the perimeter? The explosive son? Damn. That guy's just not with it today. He must be tired, you know, after the last mission. Oh, but they're not even getting in here. Oh, look at that. That guy just fell to the, to the, uh, the, the claymore. Irish, why wouldn't you just hold the balcony, you fool? You gotta come down here. You gotta try and push me out from behind the bar, are you? Look at this guy right here. Oh my god. The bar is going up, splintering into a thousand pieces here. Oh my god, this was a bad choice, I think. I think. Irish, what are you doing out there in the middle of the room like that? Is that it? Beautiful. All right, well, that worked out pretty nicely. A real, uh, a real iffy moment there behind the bar, though. Let me tell you, when the thing got got smashed up in half there, right where I was standing. And uh, should I reload the uh, the claymores? I guess I should, or I, I can anyway. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're gonna come into use again, but at least I'll have them. Good work there, Pac-Man. It was, wasn't it? It was. Should be a staircase right here. Everyone okay? You think this guy's you think this guy's kicking? I don't know. It's a tough call there. He could just be passed out. I'm just having a sip of my tea, so we'll slow things down here for a second. Let these two lead the way. Pac Man, what are you doing? Get moving. Get moving. Oh I, you need me to come out here first, do you? Ready? Don't be grabbing my ass back there, Irish. I know you got to your sights set on it now. I can hear a little activity up here. Oh, god damn. God damn. Got here just in time. Just in time. And those were a couple of hostiles, apparently. That's our room. How do you know that's our room? I'm not seeing any numbers on any of the doors here. That could be our room right over there, Pac-Man. Boys are late. Takes time to shoot your way through a search party making their way up the building. What do you think I moved rooms? Mr. Kovic, I presume. Crossing the halls a bit easier than crossing the street. Get in. Kovic not not putting up with any any viruses bullshit either. Oh, you should have seen what what he did with the van. Now, now, Irish, own up to your mistakes, sir. We blame in the military. We're getting them out in one piece. That's all you need to know. I'm Hannah. This is my husband. Thank you for coming. Excuse me, sir. Our pleasure. Do you speak English? God damn, he's looking rough, eh? We got Dark Man here. Dark Man, all bandaged up. No time for rest. Let's buy the choppers on the roof. We have to move now. Then we go up. What? You can take it, I can fly it. Like it or not, that's the plan. Unless you got an option, Sergeant. We're stealing choppers now. Are you done? My husband needs treatment. All this violence. Where does it lead to, Sergeant? This is not fun. Thank you for coming, Sergeant. I'm so grateful you are here. No problem. And that was uh, that was a little interesting, eh? Did you notice that? Like he was about to say something. He, he looks like he's taken a little, you know, he's injured in the torso there. His face looks clean, though. It looks like he's only wearing the bandages, perhaps. And this is a pure guess, pure guess. But uh, it looks like maybe he's wearing the bandages to just conceal his identity. So maybe this is, in fact, that Jin J guy. I can't, uh, I can't strafe. Oh, there we go. Maybe this is, in fact, that Jin J guy that the... Uh, that was discussed earlier on in this mission. Maybe he's just trying to get out of the country. Who knows? And, and it's pure guess, guys. I mean, I haven't played... I haven't played anything beyond this mission. And I haven't watched any videos. I don't know how the story's gonna play out. So we'll see. We'll see if it was a good call or not. I'm on it, Kovic. I'm on it. Securing helicopters, sir, is what I do. Is what I do. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go get this shit done here. See a couple headless mannequins over there, just to throw you off. But this guy's about done. And I really wish I could grab him there and, and drag him back, you know, right into the into the shadows, into the cover of the room. But uh, unfortunately, we can't. 
Hopefully that was a nice grenade. Did I get the triple out of it? Oh, oh just a double. Just a double. Damn it, pack. Irish. Irish following it up, pushing me out of the way as well. Unreal. <laughs> I hate that. I hate it. I can't stand it. I'm looking all clear down here. Did we uh, did we already dismantle the crew? What the hell is going on here? Oh, there we go. A couple guys posting up up, uh, up on the helipad. We've got one more right here. He's going <laughs> to eat my blade here. Yes, uh, taste my steel. There we go. Looked like I ripped his larynx out. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe I just wasn't looking at it right. There we go. That's probably the last guy. I think good to just move up here now. Secure this helipad and the chopper. I'd like to fly this sucker out of here, but no, Coven's having, or Kovic here is having none of it. Having none of it. You know, I would have done a much better job, you know, but uh, fine, sir. You take it. You get them out of there. Get them to safety. What the hell? Check the VIPs, gentlemen. Protect them. Kovic, get that, get that chopper airborne, fool. You're down. You're down, sucker. Beautiful. Sparks are flying. There they go to safety. Nice. Nice. Good job well done here. Have to admit. Whoa, what is that? Coming in behind me. A grenade of some kind. I don't know if it was a flashbang or not. Get a shotgun here. But damn, I think I may have pushed up here a little prematurely. Oh my god, with the grenades. What are you doing? Still kicking, eh? And you, is it you? Going crazy with the grenades? Carpet bombing over here? Well, you're done. Oh, and so are you. And so are you. I'm not even seeing the knife come out there. Oh yeah, he had it in his hand. He had it in his hand. There's a guy up here. Better be careful. Oh, with the shotgun. Right at the top of the ladder. I'm surprised I survived that. Really surprised. And another shotgunner coming rushing in here. Are we good? Is that it? I think we may be good, gents. Maybe I gotta go back up here and, uh, and talk to them or something. Get within range. You know, no, I'm thinking there's still one more guy out there. I better go hunting. Go hunting him down. And there he is. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> we still have more because they haven't said anything yet. What are you doing? Bringing up the rear. A bit of a coward back here. Scared to enter the battlefield. I don't think this, I think this mission may have glitched out a little bit. I'm not really sure here. This doesn't seem right, you know. What are you guys doing? You gonna move, move up with me or what? I really hope this hasn't glitched out. Should be one more guy here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Look at this guy. What are you doing? Yeah, something, something happened here. It just got a little glitchy, I think. Yeah, no kidding. You guys could have followed me in here. Fortress Tombstone 4. Go 4, Fortress. Roger. VIPs are inbound in a seized enemy helo. One of them in need of immediate medical attention. We are still in the tower, sir. Looking for an alternate exit. Over. Understood. Stand by. You're so messed up. Alright, guys. Tombstone. Make your way down to the river. We're working on an exfil plan. Alright guys, so uh, right there, looks like a good place to just wrap this. I think we're, you know, pushing 22 minutes or something like that right about now. What the hell is Irish all pissed off at Kovic for? I guess, oh, I gave him the order to just fly out of there. Maybe Irish is pissed off that, uh, that we're still sitting here. Yes, I'll get on it next episode, Pac-Man. I'm trying to uh, say goodbye to the people that are watching the video. So just a little patience, sir. 
little patience. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like, a comment, sub up to the channel if you're new around here and you haven't already. And until next time, I'll remember why it hurts. And uh, part two of this should be releasing. If it's not up already, when this goes up, it, I'll have it up within a couple hours, okay? Uh, so, guys, I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in episode three. Later.